Now, it may seem a little odd to think of them that way, but even a simple string value is, in PowerShell at least, an object. And if you pipe it to get member, you can see that it has a number of methods, things that allow you to uh, change it to uppercase or to lowercase, or to see if it starts with a particular string, or to split a delimited string into an array, or, or to replace a portion of a string. And the way you would access that is to simply follow the string object with a period, the name of the method, and then you provide the arguments for that method. In this case, let's replace LO with just the letter P, and we get a replaced string. Now, if you've put a string into a variable, then the variable itself can be used to access those members. Um, so all of those methods, as well as things like the length property. Integers, like the number five, are also just another kind of object. Now, numbers don't have as many interesting methods to work with. There's probably really nothing here you'd want to use. Um, but if you also look at, so this is a fractional number. That's a double, so a, a double floating point number. Uh, they also have their own thing. So all of these, what we would call simple values, in PowerShell can be treated like objects and are treated like objects, and in the case of strings can have some pretty extensive members, methods, and properties that allow you to manipulate that string data.